Hello, what's up, beautiful people? Uh, welcome to my channel, Suvish Vlogs, and I hope you're doing absolutely fine. So, I guess you are all are enjoying the Sunday, and uh, let's uh, go into the Sunday vibes, and uh, we should talk about the most outrageous and the most conflicting issues in our country going on, which is right now justice for SSR. And like after seeing all the things and uh, all the news forecasts. and the articles like someone has to draw a bit conclusion regarding the case so i thought to do a small video session like like regarding uh, telling you about the hashtag justice for ssr as i named it and uh, i would like to tell you so we should start our video and let's check out some figures facts regarding the case so while well, seeing uh, the nepotism and the lobby conspiracy in the indian bollywood industry reflects its shadows on the indian society and the livelihoods so we have created the casteism religiousism and regionalism in our daily lives which is not really affecting a good mindset and is badly affecting the cultural diversity and the mentality of the peoples of india so let me draw your attention to the most trending issue over the india which is including the hashtag justice for assar and the hashtag justice for hatras rape which is also trending issue so we will check over what the peoples across the our nations are seeking for the justice and the several strict actions and a non bailable offense should be issued for the convicts so it is really strange to know that none of the mysterious bollywood uh, celebrities death has came to conclusion after their death after the years also and uh, all the allegations failed for the highly influential peoples and the allies which was started in the late 90s from the ex actresses which was ms divya bharti so from going from that thing to right now ssr case none of the cases has been came to the conclusion right now so you can understand the credibility of the issues so definitely the social media thing has shown a real face and you can see the trp and the barc scams right now going on and people are alleging for several channels and you can see the public bharat is also getting all the threats and the all kind of people are just boycotting the media and as the media is showing a very ma manipulated faces right now and for just a sake of a single pennies and a bit amount of money they want, they are showing the things which are beyond the truth and they are hiding the main things from the people across the nation so it is really a matter of shame and uh, i would really uh, request all my fellow indians and ladies and gentlemen to support the truth media so yes we should also give a campaign to check out the truth media as for now which shows that the republic tv and the owner of the republic tv mr arnab goswami is fighting for the truth so you can see what the allegations they are facing as the india today network and the astak have filed a case against the fake trp creation over arnab goswami but we say that the all fingers are first pointing yourself and only one finger is pointing the person whom you are talking about so this is understandable to all the officials and i would not like to take any of the names for any peoples just for creating a controversy because as the nation is right now facing such a controversial issues so after this the truth is a real face which will be out for a public in the period of time so definitely the republic team is trying their best as the people are trying to pull their leg and uh, cause causing uh, certain issues over the cases so as we are talking about the shushan case so i would like to draw your fact your attention to some of the facts which i have written so we will going 
like first like we will think that uh, the doctor who should be probed is uh, for mr dr uh, sudhir gupta so yes right now he has uh, confessed that there are mal practices for the case for ssr and uh, he has uh, also shown the real face of astak as by claiming that the pictures of the suicide scenes were manipulated and were they shown in the right way and after that he wrote a several question marks so you can understand and then the second thing i would like to draw your attention is to the autopsy and the visdra report so autopsy is done when the body is there so it was known that the body was soon cremated so there was no chance for a second autopsy and the visdra report so for the visdra report it's saying like they are they have preserved a very less amount of visdra and for your kind information visdra gets contaminated and degraded after 30 days so you cannot get the another visdra of a person if he or she is not live so visdra report is also gone and then the statement that uh, the uh, contamination of the evidence so we definitely there was a try for the destruction of the evidence which we can see and as it is also admitted by the head of the forensic team dr sudhir gupta and there is also a issue coming that the mumbai police has not coordinated over with the bihar police for the investigating this case as the former dgp gupteshwar pandey has sent the ips vinay tiwari over this case for mumbai so he got a sudden quarantine over by the bmc so which was like highly objectionable as he is an ips officer so no one has the rights to make him quarantine because he is also the supreme power for the india as you know the ips powers and the positions so definitely there are some loopholes and uh, then i would like to draw your attention to the cbi and aims back game so definitely the the now thing has come that like after the probing dr sudhir gupta when he has confessed then it's a thing coming out that he whatever he has said so it is not like reliable with the aims and the aims is saying that they have submitted the report to the cbi and by backing the game the cbi is saying that they have not received any official reports from the aims so you can understand the petty issue over it and the people are really confused about it and they have also started the investigating the case and they have ruled out the murder angle and they are going with the suicide so the indian nation wants to know if this much kind of evidences are they not enough to prove the criminal conspiracy of the death of ssr and the desha salian so definitely we should also start a campaign as uh, i think being a indian native so the truth should be in front of the indian peoples and uh, definitely we should support the republic tv with the hashtag republic fights back and i support anup goswami for the truth because they are just want to show the truth so please comment and tell that are you joining the campaigns and share over your friends and please uh, debate regarding this thing and let me know that what you think about this fact until then stay to my channel so if you was out on absolutely fine take care until i see you again